जय हिंद टू ऑल माई सेल्फ उमा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन ई सी डिपार्टमेंट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन टू डेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन सो दीज आर द कंटेंट ऑफ दिस लेक्चर सो वील सी द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी देन वील डिस्कस द पिन डाइग्राम एंड द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी वील डिस्कस विद द हेल्प ऑफ फंक्शनल ब्लॉक डायग्राम and then as an application of triple five uh, timer ic we will discuss uh, a stable multi vibrator and mono stable multi vibrator one by one and uh, then we will see the different application of this so uh, you can see from this uh, uh, slide uh, the ic is shown over here it is a 8 uh, pin ic which is manufactured by signetics and uh, uh, it is designed by the hands basically it is high stable uh, timer ic that is used to provide or generate the time delay or oscillations uh, basically this triple five timer ic can generate a time delay ranging from the microsecond to hours and it can operate uh, different at different power supplies like 5 volt to 18 volt uh, so there are different uh, packages in which IC comes so for eight pin IC basically it work on eight no five volt supply and if if I talk about the fourteen pin IC then it uh, uh, work on the fifteen volt supply so uh, in the integrated circuit the triple five timer IC is one of the most popular and versatile IC which is used over a uh, long period like thirty years uh, in the If we see the block diagram of this triple five timer as IC, it is a combination of analog and digital blocks. So basically, it is based upon the mixed signal design. Previously, also also we have seen a popular IC that is seven four one IC, but it is it contain only analog blocks inside its block. so uh, this is a special category of ic in which a combination of analog and digital circuits are used it is sometimes known as time machine because it is uh, used to perform a wide variety of the timing task these are some uh, popular application of triple five timer ic uh, means we can design a bounce free switch cascaded timer we can design a frequency divider vco we can uh, design using triple five timer uh, we can use triple five timer in pulse generation as well as led flashers so now uh, just see the pin diagram of triple five timer ic so basically it is a eight pin ic starting from this notch pin number 1 pin number 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so here uh it uh, this ic works upon a single supply so single vcc supply is used and which is connected to pin number 8 pin number 1 is used to ground so there is no confusion in these two uh, pins now let's see what is the pin number 2 pin number 2 which is used to provide trigger if we want to apply some external input then we'll use this trigger pin so pin number 2 is known as input pin on which we can apply a trigger pin number 3 is used to uh, uh, take the output so this is output pin in inside this pin uh, inside this ic there is a flip flop which is used so to reset that flip flop we use the reset pin so uh, whenever we want to reset the uh, flip flop without changing the input of that flip flop then we can use this reset pin and directly we can reset the flip flop uh pin number 5 is a control pin uh we can modulate the input if we want to modulate the input then we can use this control pin just by uh, change, uh applying some voltage at the control pin we can modulate the input signal otherwise if we don't want to modulate the input signal the control pin is connected to the ground with a capacitor a capacitor is connected over here and this capacitor is used to avoid any uh, uh type of fluctuation or uh, uh, it is used to avoid the noise signal so this is generally connected with a 0.01 microfarad capacitor at the control pin and uh, connected to the ground pin number 6 is a threshold pin and that again is used to 
provide the input to the input circuitry of the seven four one sorry triple five timer IC. So if we see in the next slides, we will see the functional block diagram. So here uh, you will see the two comparator. So threshold is the one of the input of that comparator. So again, it is a input pin. So trigger and threshold are the two input pin of triple five timer, where control is used to modulate the input signal. So whenever it is required, then we can uh, apply some input over here. Otherwise, it is connected to ground through this capacitor. Pin number four is uh, used to reset the flip flop only. Now come to the pin number seven, that is the discharge pin. So if we want to design some application like mono stable, a stable, as we uh, we have seen in the previous slide, that we can design some uh, oscillators using this triple five timer. So discharge pin is used to discharge uh, a capacitor which is externally connected to the IC. So this is a discharge pin. Uh, basically, uh, discharge pin is connected or this pin is designed to discharge a capacitor through a transistor. So, uh, our VJT is used for making this discharge pin and VCC as you are aware, this is the supply voltage. So, this is the pin configuration of the triple five timer. Now, uh, see the functional block diagram. So, here you can see that this is upper comparator. This is known as upper comparator and this is lower comparator. Here a register network is connected. This is register network which is consisting of three registers. This R. R and R. These three registers are equals to 5 kilo ohm. Sometimes uh, it is said that uh, the name of the IC is due to the 5 kilo ohm register, due to these 3 5 kilo ohm register 5, 5, and 5. So, this register network is used to generate a fixed reference to the upper comparator and the lower comparator. So, if I apply a voltage divider on this register network, then you can calculate the value at this node. Similarly, you can calculate the value at this node. Sorry, here, this node and this node. So, if I want to calculate the value at this node, this is the inverting terminal of the upper comparator, then the value uh, like I can write V minus and here I can write as V plus. So, the value of V minus can be given as VCC into R plus R that is equals to 2R divided by 2R plus R that is 3R. So, that will become 2 by 3 of VCC. Similarly, I can calculate V plus at this node. So, here if I apply voltage divider that will comes VCC into R divided by R plus 2R. So, that will equals to VCC by 3. So, this is how we can calculate. So, this node is at 2 by 3 of VCC whereas this node is at 1 by 3 of VCC. So, you can consider these two point as reference to the upper and lower comparator. So, now uh, for upper comparator, this node is fixed as 2 by 3 VCC. So, whatever is the value at the threshold node, depending on that value, that will produce some differential voltage at the input of the upper comparator and accordingly that will generate output at the input of this RS flip flop or SR flip flop. Similarly, the lower comparator will work to uh, by this uh, input pin, pin number 2. So, whatever input is present at pin number 2, accordingly the lower comparator generates the output at the input of SR flip-flop at S node and accordingly SR flip-flop produce the value of Q and Q bar. Here, this is the discharge transistor. 
So if I connect some capacitor at this node, uh, externally if I connect any capacitor, so this will discharge through this path, through this transistor. Whenever this transistor is on, in that case, whatever is connected at discharge, that will uh, discharge through this capacitor or least resistance path and the voltage at this pill, pin will become zero. So, uh, another component is used in this functional block diagram, this transistor Q2 and this transistor Q2 is known as reset transistor. So, if I want to reset the flip-flop, then I can provide reset input. Generally, it is connected with VCC and uh, a bubble is connected over here. So, you can uh, uh, you can eliminate this transistor and uh, directly you can connect reset over here. This is the pin number 4 and this is connected to VCC. So, like I can connect like this 4 and 8 is connected to VCC. Whenever I want to reset the flip flop, then we have to change it. Uh, another component is this inverter. This is nothing but a buffer or a power amplifier. And this buffer and power amplifier is used to provide the output at pin number 3. And you know the use of buffer. Buffer is used to provide the impedance matching. Uh, and the power amplifier uh, can be used at this place. And definitely buffer is an inverter. So, that is why this is written over there, inverter. So, Q bar is connected to that inverter. So, at this node, we will get Q at the output. So, this is the functional block diagram. Here, you can see that there are few analog circuits and few digital circuits. SR flip-flop is used as a digital circuit over there. Remaining other analog in nature means you can apply analog signal to these uh, uh, these components but for SR flip-flop this comes in the category of digital and you can see the working of SR flip-flop if S R Q and Q bar if S equals to 1 or initially just consider 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 1 1 so for uh, input 0 0 the value of Q and Q bar are in no change state. When S equals to 0, then Q bar equals to 0 and sorry, Q equals to 0 and Q bar equals to 1. That means flip-flop is reset and when S equals to 1, then flip-flop is in set condition. Then Q equals to 1 and Q bar equals to 0 and for 1-1 one, one situation, this is known as uh, in indetermined state or you can say don't care. So, in this triple five timer IC, whatever is the input, in any case, the output of flip flop will not go in this category 1 1. So, we can use SR flip flop uh, over there because if I compare SR flip flop with uh, JK flip flop, because um, the, to remove the problem of SR flip flop, we use JK flip flop, but here this problem will not occur so that's why we can use sr flip flop only so this is the uh, simple construction of triple five timer ic and this is how ic works now uh, 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 these are written the um, inside of the triple five timer ic so one is the the components are three five kilo ohm uh, register one supply one ground and two comparator, one flip-flop and two transistors, one for discharge, second one is the, second one is for reset. So, now come to the main uh, uh, two modes of this triple five timer IC or these are the most popular applications of triple five timer IC. One is mono-stable multivibrator, second one is the A-stable multivibrator. So, uh, first see the definition of mono-stable multivibrator. This is the multivibrator or waveform generator uh, which is having one stable state. So, this is having one stable state only. 
सो एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेल यू दैट ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर इज जनरली यूज टू जनरेट द टाइमिंग वेब फॉर्म्स इट इज अ टाइम मशीन सो दैट विल प्रोड्यूस स्क्वेयर वेब दैट्स वाई इट इज मल्टी वाइब्रेटर सो लेट सपोज दिस इज द स्क्वेयर वेब so for mono stable multi vibrator it is considered or it is defined as for mono stable multi vibrator the only stable state is uh, either 0 or 1 let's suppose 0 is the stable state then your multi vibrator can remain in this zero state indefinitely but you if you want to change its state then you have to apply trigger over there so you have to apply trigger so by the application of trigger your multi vibrator can switch from stable state to quasi stable state for some time but after that this will return to the stable state and now that can remain in this state for indefinite period but if again i apply trigger then you can get this another pulse so that means uh, according to the application of trigger you can generate the pulse if you are applying only one trigger then you will get this only this is the output of mono stable multi vibrator because it is having one stable state another state is quasi stable state and the multi vibrator wants to uh, remain in its stable state so uh, uh this is about the definition of mono stable multi vibrator and using triple five timer ic we can uh, design a circuit that is uh, that the, the, that can be able to produce this pulse next is the a stable multi vibrator so a stable multi vibrator is having no stable state that means it is very much unstable like circuit suppose your multi vibrator is in zero state if it is not a stable state then it wants to switch to another state so it comes at 1 but again this is not a stable so it moves uh, towards to 0 then again 1 0 1 0 so without the application of trigger without trigger without trigger the circuit can swing between plus means 1 and zero so in a stable multi vibrator there is a switching between 1 and 0 so that's why it is used to produce a square wave so in detail we will see the uh, a stable and mono stable multi vibrator so this is the circuit for a stable multi vibrator here the triple five timer ic is connect over there this network is connect to produce square wave so this is external circuit to triple five timer so i can uh, redraw this circuit by this functional block diagram so i have replaced this timer by its functional block diagram so here you can see that uh, this is ra rb and these are 5k 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 registers here at this point this value is 2 by 3 vcc and this value is 1 by 3 vcc now uh this is the transistor q1 which is used uh, to discharge the external capacitor now let's say your suppose your output like this is q bar and here suppose it is q so suppose q equals to uh zero initially and q bar equals to 1 and this q bar is connected to this uh transistor base of the transistor and that will on the this transistor and if there is any charge in the capacitor this capacitor discharges through this transistor so initially let's assume the capacitor at as 0 volt now let's see what is the uh, voltage at lower comparator and upper comparator input so for lower comparator 
positive terminal is connected to 1 by 3 VCC and negative terminal 2 connected from this terminal and if it is 0 that means capacitor is 0 so it is 0. So lower comparator will produce differential voltage is positive so that will produce 1. Now let us see the uh, upper comparator. The input to this upper comparator at non-inverting node is 0 and inverting node it is 2 by 3 VCC. So definitely differential voltage is negative. So output will be equals to 0. Now let us see S equals to 1 and R equals to 0. So this switch from 0 to 1. Now the out Q equals to 1 and Q bar equals to 0. When this Q equals to 1 and Q bar equals to 0, this Q bar is connected to this discharge transistor. So, uh, and now uh, just draw the waveform. Your output is initially 0, then it moves to 1. Now, in that situation, your Q1 is off, and now this capacitor can charge because there is no discharging path to this capacitor. So, cap capacitor start charging through these registers RA and RB towards the VCC. So, now let us see your capacitor is charging uh, like over there. Your capacitor is charging. Initially, it is at 0. Now, it will reach 1 by 3 VCC. Then, it will reach 2 by 3 VCC and it can go up to VCC. So, suppose the capacitor reaches at this point 1 by 3 VCC. So, and uh, in that case, the input to this lower comparator is 1 by 3 VCC and 1 by 3 VCC. That means the differential voltage is now moving towards the negative. So, the output of this lower comparator which was 1 earlier, now it will become 0. And here in this situation, you can see that the upper comparator, the output is 0 because the capacitor is at 1 by 3 VCC. So, here uh, if I calculate the differential voltage, so differential voltage is negative state. So, output is 0. So, for 0, 0, there is no change in the state. So, that means if the capacitor start charging up to 2 by 3 of VCC, there is no change in the output. This is up to 2 by 3 VCC. But when your the voltage across this capacitor increase 2 by 3 VCC, in that case, this lower comparator is definitely at 0 because the input at the inverting node is 2 by 3 VCC or more than 2 by 3 VCC. The output of this lower comparator will become 0, but the output of upper comparator now at non-inverting node, the voltage is greater than 2 by 3 VCC. So, that will swing from 0 to 1. So, now the input to this RS flip-flop is R equals to 1, S equals to 0. That will change the output of this flip-flop and in that case, your Q will become 0 and your Q bar will become 1. So, that means the output will become 0 like this. And whenever your output is equals to 0, that means Q bar 1 and this transistor is again on. And whenever this transistor is on, this capacitor is start discharging through this register RB. So, if I say the charging time constant is RA plus RB into C, whereas the discharging time constant is RB into C. So, this is how you can calculate uh, the value of time period for this pulse, but from this circuit, you can uh, see that the cycle repeats because once this transistor is off, then capacitor is start charging. Once this transistor is on, then that will discharge the capacitor. So, this is how you will get a continuous waveform plus minus. So, this uh, is known as free running multi vibrator or uh, free running oscillator that is able to produce a square wave without the application of input signal. So, this is how you can uh, uh, produce these waveforms as I have already told you. The output waveform will be like this and this will the capacitor start charging in uh, first cycle it is 0 but after that 
the capacitor can discharge up to 1 by 3 VCC and can charge up to 2 by 3 VCC. So, this is the capacitor charging and discharging waveform and this is your output waveform and uh, with the help of this charging and discharging uh, waveform or timing sequence of this capacitor, you can calculate the time period for this pulse. So, this is the, this time is TH and this time is TL. So, if I calculate total time period, this is the total of TH plus uh, TL and by uh, um, inverting the time period, we can calculate the frequency. So, this is the value of frequency. This is how you can calculate duty cycle also TH upon TH plus TL into 100. So, uh, this is the formula for duty cycle. So, uh, this is all about the A stable multi vibrator using triple five timer. Uh, in uh, in the upcoming lectures, we can see the uh, working of monostable multi vibrator, and there are many applications which we can implement using this triple five timer IC like PLL, VCO, uh, and many more. So this is all from my side. Thank you so much.